Hello and welcome to my first vlog. Um, we're starting off today in the Aurora car park. That's the Aurora behind me there. Um, but we are actually on our way to the Walled Garden. And one of the two entrances is from the car park. And it is actually where we are right now, so there it is. It's such a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. It must be one of the hottest days of the year that I've experienced so far. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly what temperature it is, but I can certainly feel it. It's got that really hot climate. And actually, for the first time today, I've noticed the waterfall has actually been turned on. Um, there's where the source of it is, actually, which is kind of cool. Let's go have a look. Hmm, very interesting. They've got the sprinklers on today and stuff like that, which shows that it is just such a hot day. Now, as we're in the walled garden, I would like to actually mention that they do they do a lot of hosting or not hosting. They do a lot of like event hosting, I suppose, yeah, um, of different types of shows, whether it be comedy, music. And actually, myself, I'm going to see Paddy Roth, Paddy Roth Comedy, to give him a check out on Facebook. It's, he's, he's really funny, like, he does impersonations of, like, Upper Malone people, like, oh my goodness, actor postcode, BT9, and stuff like that. He's so funny, he can always give you a good laugh. There's the sprinkler on in full, full flight there, try not to get the camera wet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I usually actually do do music videos and stuff so you may have seen some of you may have seen them before on on my other channel actually uh, but today it, it's such a beautiful sunny day I didn't have anything prepared so I thought that I should come out and enjoy that weather somehow excuse the noise of that beautiful waterfall but there it is in all its glory. As I said, the first time that I've actually seen it up and running this year. You know, before I started filming this, I sort of thought that I'd like to see like, you know, one of those bugs, like a bee flying into the flower. I'm sure we will get that at some point. Uh, funny story, whenever I actually started recording about 10 minutes ago, I did find that and I thought this is working out absolutely brilliantly. Um, but then I looked at my phone and it wasn't recording, so I had to start again, unfortunately. Uh, but this one seems to be going so far so good. Um, there is a spider's web up there, I don't know if you can see it. Not as nice as a bee, I suppose, collecting pollen, but uh, yeah, wildlife nonetheless. Let's check out Did the cut through. I don't recommend cutting through, you should follow the paths, but it's quite nice sometimes to get different perspectives and stuff. I actually thought it would be busier today. Um, it might be later. Because of the weather, really, like. I'm not too sure. I might head down to the marina, too. And this might just be a pleasant cut-through or walk-through. I'm still not too sure, though, because I'd, like I'd like to check out a lot of places in depth. I know this walled garden does have a cafe, so if I don't get anything from the cafe, we'll still have a quick look at it anyway. Um, all the smells are beautiful here, like, I mean, I'm not too sure what all these flowers are and stuff, but, I mean, if I could buy an oil with that sort of scent that I'm smelling, it's like a sweet sort of smell, it's lovely. <laughs> it's good, so it is. Um, the walled garden has everything, so if you are like with young children or anything and you want to have a picnic but you don't want to 
be sat out in the heat too much for our like little hot places which you can go to people are using that one so far so i'll not go over and disturb them um but for our for i think there's another one down at the bottom too uh, but as i said it is so hot today all of them are actually more than likely taken let's see it's a cool path area here it's probably one of the best times of years to come and one of the best days because all the flowers seem to be in full bloom and stuff like that which is quite nice it's actually quite sheltered from the wind i'm still to invest in a better better camera and stuff like that i can deal with the uh, uh, unpleasantries of wind and stuff like that but because of the walls is part of the reason why I've chosen here today to have less disturbance and stuff like that not that that's that interesting but uh, just to apologies for any noise discrepancies and stuff like that that happen um, <laughs> so I think we're gonna go and try and go to the cafe area here's like a here's as high as I can get um, so back to where we came from through the unbeaten path behind the waterfall again. So I think it's around August time with the Open House Festival that things start to really kick off here. Could be earlier, but that's whenever I know it of. Um, just walked past, oh, there's a bird. Don't know if I got the bird. If you've got a dog, the walled garden thinks about you. So that's quite nice. All the gardeners out working. What a nice day to be a gardener, eh? <laughs> so I believe we're on our way to the cafe anyway. Try and stop and appreciate any wildlife if I see it, but it all seems to sort of happen too quickly. Oh, there's a greenhouse over here. Let's see what they've got in the greenhouse. I never usually go in here. The lawn is closed for essential maintenance, and there's no entry, unfortunately. Oh. So, that's the inside of it anyway. I think they're all growing stuff. Like tomatoes, I think I see over there. And then, I don't know, random stuff really. I think the cafe, I think the cafe is actually closed today. But we are at the bandstand, which I've never really give a good check out, so we'll give it a check out. I will go inside it first, and then I'll show you guys from a distance. It's got a lovely wooden roof. Let's see if you can see. That's what that roof looks like, I suppose. You never know, maybe one day I'll actually play here. It would be kind of fun. I think you can, you can just come here and do it, if you're good. So it's like a lawn area here. And then I'll get far, far enough away from the bandstand that you can see it, I suppose. People are laughing, having fun. Why wouldn't you on a sunny day, eh? So yeah, not busy today. Speaking of uh, the comedy show, this day, this might actually be where it's where it's done. I was thinking about like what they do, but maybe they, I've answered my own question in this video. So that's cool. Greenhouse. I think the cafe is open. Um, I don't know if I fancy anything today, but we'll have a quick walk through and have a look. So it is open. Hi there. Um, 
Do you do any like frappuccinos or anything? Frappuccinos? Yeah. No, not frappuccinos. You don't? Either. What like ice drinks do you do? Yeah, we can do ice tea or ice, ice lattes. Uh, can I have an iced tea? Please? Yeah. Yeah, yes please. So they've got loads of options here anyway. Um, ice creams, different cakes, tea, coffee. It all looks really good actually. But I'm not that hungry as I said, so I think an iced tea will do it for me. A gingerbread man in July. Wow. Crisps, drinks. There's the menu if you can see it, coffee cure. And all the prices and stuff like that. Just cool. There is sweet flavors. We have a watermelon. Ooh, I'll, yeah, no, I've never, I've never tried a watermelon one. Can I try watermelon, it? Watermelon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Watermelon ice cream, how lovely. So I'm not, I don't like people too much, but everyone is having fun. What a day for it! Everyone's congregated here pretty much because it's probably off with all the refreshments, doesn't it? And the toilets. So, yeah. It'll be nice to get my iced tea. I'm actually kind of thirsty now. Oh. Absolutely roasting soil. A quick walk around here while my iced tea is being made. I've just noticed there's actually like a side place you can go to. If you don't want to go into the full place, I suppose, or to get served from. Menu. My iced tea's ready. Hi there. Thank you. Watermelon. Um, not really that interesting, but you know you're in safe hands of a walled garden. Wow. So here's a statue while I'm drinking some of my iced tea. I don't know if you can see, but whenever you get close, there's actually like a a picture of like a, a woman, a lady. Something to do with transport, it says, like transmit, communicate as a, as an idea. I'm not 100% what that means, but if you are, maybe leave a comment and let us know what that actually means and what the statue is here for. Um, could be an interesting thing. Here's another view from the fountain. We'll walk up to it, actually. In fact, I'm going to save this greenhouse. It's open this one. I don't know if any of them are today. Maybe it's like health and safety, it gets too warm or something, but I don't know, the doors are open, so I think it's okay. So here's the view. Quite nice, quite pleasant. I don't know if you, but if you watch anyone else on YouTube, there's like people who like get their own greenhouses and their actual back gardens and stuff. And Grover and stuff, which is kind of cool. 
Um, so can you imagine? But I suppose this is Banger's back garden. Or it's front garden, depending if the marina's the front and this is the back or vice versa. But uh, we're currently actually in Castle Park. We'll leave through that entrance, actually, or exit, whatever way you want to call it. Uh, but Castle Park, it's it's got loads too, like. It's got the city, city, town hall. I don't know, I don't know what the sign says. It probably still says town. <laughs> if it does, I'm not too sure. But it's all part of history, I suppose. So, interesting stuff. Bangor Castle, Walled Garden. Some people call it the Bangor Castle and some people call it Bangor Town or City Hall. But there's the times. And all of this stuff, which it's, it's interesting, I suppose, but not that interesting. But come on down if you are interested in all that sort of history side of it and stuff. Um, but yeah, probably not enough time to read there, but still, there you go. So we're kind of back to where we started, so I'm going to go back, loop around the fountain, and then out through that other exit or entrance, whatever way you want to call it, with my watermelon iced tea. First time trying that, actually, and it is quite nice. Big thumbs up. So get yourself down to the old garden and try a watermelon iced tea. Um, sort of happy they didn't have a frappe now, so that's all good. Different perspectives. again then. I really hope I'm not boring you guys or anything, but if you were unfortunately stuck at work or something today and you couldn't enjoy the sunny weather, then at least this is something that you can enjoy, I suppose. <laughs> Have a nice tea, watermelon iced tea with Dylan in Walt Garden. So beautiful noise of the water fountain. Let's 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 try and get as close as we can this time. So I'm like walking around the ground. Ah, I'll tell you what, we'll look around this way now. I'll see if I can show you one of the huts. There is one in the distance there. So cold. They're strange looking ones. I'm actually like, I don't know, partially colorblind. So to me, they could actually be like a pink or a purple. And I'm not too sure what they are, but they do look lovely like. And I know that they're definitely yellow, so. Cool. Interesting stuff. It's like jungly sort of plants and massive leaves. It's really in full flight. There's a big lump of wood from possibly the sea. It looks like it's been wore out by like salt water and brought up here from the ocean, maybe. Just guessing, but it could have. It's roasting. I'm really looking forward to coming here actually in August to see that show, which I'm pretty sure at this point now will be at that bandstand. That is unfortunately sold out, um, but yeah, that'll be a good experience. I'll actually try and get a bit of a vlog, I suppose, fair too, possibly in the future. I'll probably go down to the marina and stuff and check out some of the places there and see if they can beat this watermelon iced tea. 
see what the crack is, but here is a bit of shade, which is actually a really pleasant surprise. The acoustics sound a lot nicer in here actually too. Might actually be a good place for a future recording, somewhere sort of quiet here to get the acoustics, and then sort of facing that way with the guitar and stuff. Um, yeah, the, the acoustics tend to rebound off the walls and stuff then, so it might create a nice wee echo where you don't have to play too heavily on the strings and stuff. Not that, that, that is that interesting, but uh, well, it is for me. And any fellow musicians, you'll understand what I mean. So there it is from the distance. Slight distance. Very pleasant place to go to. Hello, palm tree, how are you? Now I'm pretty sure I know what they are. Hydrangeas. Correct me if I'm wrong. Big sort of fluffy things. Like how my hair goes in the morning if I like rustle it up after a shower. <laughs> Tell me a so here is the my preferred entrance or exit. We're exiting today. It's almost like a magical sort of stepping into a different world from the outside. Walled Garden, Castle Park. Oh, best 100 gardens, number one garden in Northern Ireland and number two in the United Kingdom. There you go, another opening time thing. Bit of history. Come here yourself, you can read, read it all. Come and get a nice tea, watermelon style. And then that's basically up that direction to the Aurora car park again, and then this direction. If you're heading towards the Bangor Castle slash Town Hall, and on your way into, into the city centre, I suppose. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my iced tea now, watermelon style, and cut it there pretty much but thanks very much for watching like and subscribe if you'd like and i'm sure i'll be doing more of these in the future um so hopefully i will see you there next time and yeah